Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the new firmware update for the Sony A7S III. If you're a Sony A7S III owner like myself, the day is finally here. Firmware version 3.0 is now available and I'll link directly to that down in the description box below. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Now I've updated this camera already and there's a few things added that I didn't expect. And there's also just one thing missing which I hope they would have added, but they didn't. So it's more in line now with the Sony FX3 again, like it was at release, but there's just one thing omitted which we'll talk about in just a moment. Let's talk about the three main upgrades that I think most people will be happy with. The first, of course, is focus breathing compensation. We finally have it added, which is great. So yeah, well done Sony for putting this particular feature in. I actually spoke about this on a video I did earlier in the month on this camera with the projected firmware upgrade. So I'm glad it's included. Now this helps eliminate the zoom in and out effect that you might find on some prime lenses. Say for example, I'm shooting video and I put my hand in front of it. You'll notice that when it pulls focus, the corners of frame will zoom in and out quite a lot. This fixes it digitally. It's a really welcomed upgrade for video shooters. We can now also shoot DCI 4K with that 4096 by 2160 pixel recording. So this is a 17 by nine aspect ratio. Also gives us the ability to now shoot in true 24p, which is otherwise known as 24 hertz. So this isn't the NTSC 24p, which is actually 23.96 or something like that, or 97. This is true 24p recording. Another major upgrade on the A7S III from what I can tell so far is the ability just to swipe right on the screen and bring up a quick menu, which is killer. This is so good, especially if you're in front of the camera doing some selfie work. You can hit record just by tapping on the screen. I like this and you can see everything at a glance, which is awesome. You can change your picture profiles, autofocus modes and more, which is really cool. Last of the major noted updates would be that this can now connect to the Sony Creator Mobile app. So you're not gonna be using the Edge Mobile app anymore. Thank God, <laughs> that was awful. So uh, yeah, the Creators app is out, which is fantastic. And if you wanna use it with your A7S III, you can. There's also a number of other updates as well, which I'm not going to get into. I think the most important ones I've already listed, but there's a few notes on this page, which I want to cover. So this will also fix an issue where the timecode wasn't always retained after a power restart. So that's great if you're using timecode. It improves the exposure stability when using extended ISO during movie recording. So if you're using that extended ISO feature and you've had issues with it, maybe noise related or so forth, I'm not exactly sure. This should hopefully fix that and it improves the operational stability of the camera, which has never been an issue for me. Now let's talk about what is on this, which I wasn't expecting. So we now get the same FX3 tile menu layout. How cool is this? And as you can see, we get all of our main settings at a glance. This was one thing I was hoping would come to this camera because when I first bought the Sony FX3 and then later the Sony A7S III, that's right, I did it in reverse. All the menus and everything matched and then one camera was different to the other and it became less fun to use both, but now we get the same user experience, which is fantastic. So well done Sony for bringing that in. Now there's only one thing missing from this new menu that Sony have put on the A7S III, and that's that there's no log shooting mode. So you still have to shoot with S-Log3 by the way that you're used to shooting with it, if you shoot in S-Log3, but I think this is a fairly decent compromise. Would I have loved to have seen that added to the camera? Absolutely, but it isn't there. So unfortunately, log shooting mode will still be done just by picking the right picture profile within the camera. When it comes to installing the firmware on this camera, you need to do it via your computer, whether that's Mac or Windows. You'll download some installers and then run them. There's two included in the zip folder, at least for Mac anyway. So I had to run the 2.15 version first, followed by the 2.3 version. The great news is the next update, if we do get one, should be via SD card, which will be super cool. Each of them took about 20 to 25 minutes each. So be patient and just remember it will wipe the camera. So you've got to basically sort of set it up again from scratch. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, it's a cool day for Sony A7S III owners. Let us know what you think of this update. If it's helpful, subscribe, click the bell, all that kind of stuff. And I will catch you soon. See ya.